Does anyone want to go to Tingle Island? That sounds like a reality TV show. Like, go to Tingle Island, everybody. If you're voted off, you, you become, uh, you, you're, you're put on a balloon and you're, you're like, sent to the middle of the sea. Alright, chat, I got the uh, map up. We're gonna be doing some shrine hunting again. Um, I'm gonna be live later again, too, by the way, so... You know. It's gonna be a lot of live today, but it'll be worth it, because we're, we're... We're gonna narrow the Zeld down. We're gonna make it happen. So there's the uh, shrine there. I'm just kind of going... Here... We're going to look around and see what has not been got. Hope you're all doing okay. Thank you for helping me deal with my audio problems. Um, but now that you've heard me speak for a while, it does sound okay. Cool. That's great. Vinny, what happened to the Final Fantasy 16 VOD from last night? Some of it must have got claimed. I don't know what could have gotten claimed. Maybe Square is... like, pissed? I don't know. Okay, so we got a shrine, like, right here. There should be a remove all pins button. Maybe there is, and I just haven't found it. I'm sorry, Vinny, but Torgal barking was used in some SoundCloud rapper's track, so you now have to give them a kidney. Vinny, um... Never mind. Some people say we are not rappers. We're rappers. Are you gonna see the new Wes Anderson? It has Alien in it. Probably eventually. I actually kind of hated The French Dispatch. His last movie. I started watching it, and then I got to, like, Timothy Chalamet in a bathtub with someone. Maybe it was Tilda Swinton, whoever it was, and I was just like, nah, I I'm good. It was just, like... Wes Anderson style to the extreme. And it, it was like in three vignettes, and it just didn't do anything for me. Granted, I didn't watch the third one, so maybe there's a good thing in there somewhere, but I... I could not... could not watch that movie. So, I gave up. Um... Will I watch the new movie? Probably yes. I do like Wester- Wester Anderson. I like his movies. Wesker Anderson is his real full name. Wow, it's nice to hear the arrows fire from my bow when I fire them. And not later. It makes a difference to me. I mean, uh, I'm really happy with the sound card purchase. I hope it doesn't end up being terrible in like a, a week. But for me, that that and also not having delay on my um, microphone. I mean, there's still delay from my post-processing. 
but there's not um, as much. That is good. Happy about that. So yes, uh, will I see the Asteroid City movie? Sure. Uh, I probably will enjoy it. But uh, my favorite Wes Anderson is still Darjeeling Limited. And my friend Tyler doesn't understand because I don't have any brothers. And that movie is all about brothers. He's like, you know, surprised that that's my favorite. But I just think it's a great movie. Are you going to see the Barbie movie? <laughs> yes, I will see the Barbie movie eventually. More than likely. Can't carry any more meals? Oh. Alright then. Well, I'm seeing Barbenheimer first. No, I'm seeing Oppenheimer first, and then I'm probably... I'm, like I said the other night, no disrespect to Barbie, but I grew up with explosions and not Barbies. So for me, the Oppenheimer movie just seems more interesting. I've always been fascinated by nuclear weapons. You know, and like the human capacity to want to kill that many people. <laughs> no, he's deterrent! No, 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 he's deterrent! don't understand. This is good for us. So I'm curious to see how Nolan is going to do his take on that. And Killian Murphy is just amazing. That dude should have been way more utilized in Hollywood than he is. So, but, but, the Barbie movie looks really stupid. And I mean that as a compliment. So I have to probably eventually check that one out as well. There's no shrine in here. Uh-oh. Nope. Pay no attention to the super chat. Hey, guess what? I can't even see them. I'm using an app called Chatty. A program. We used to call them programs back in the day, chat. Now they're apps. But I, uh, I, I'm using a thing called Chatty, and that does not show... ...hole. This is an interesting thing going on here, huh? Um, but yeah, toys are, are gonna be the new big property, because there's a lot of nostalgia for, like, toys and stuff that people grew up with. So, it, wasn't there another one being developed? Someone said there's a Barney movie or something? Um... 
Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels movie is in development right now, chat. And they're gonna make it gritty. Who's directing that? J.J. Uh, Abrams is directing that. That's a- you know what? That's a script he can write. Keep him away from Star Trek, keep him away from Star Wars, give him Hot Wheels. Starring Vin Diesel. Well, how about Vin Diesel, The Rock, Jason Statham, and John Cena? That's what a Hot Wheels movie should have as a cast. This freak. <laughs> Hello there, child. It's me, Sid. Final Fantasy, Sid. I had a dream about Final Fantasy 16 last night. I don't remember what it was about, but I remember it was. A dream about Final Fantasy 16. Activate. Yeah, get them frame rates down to three. Three! Which is a victim of its own success. Yeah. Saved whoever you are. You want to unravel the mysteries of the Blood Moon? Someone said, I hope the reports of Switch 2 being backwards compatible are true. It would be foolish not to do that, but I also feel like having support for um, the games is going to be very different than backwards compatibility, so... You know, is there going to be a patch for this game that if you play it on Switch 2, you can play it in 60 FPS? I think it would be smart. That's a thing that Nintendo should keep an eye on that the other gamer companies do. Sometimes do. Still no Game Boy cartridge? Wait a minute, you want a Game Boy cartridge slot on the Switch? You... You fucking genius. I want my Game Boy camera to be on the Switch so I can take pictures of... birds... in the lowest possible resolution. Oh, that's another thing that happened at Too Many Games, I forgot to mention. Uh, Grant... had a 3D... Uh, 3D, a Game Boy camera, sorry, and a printer. 
so he could print out um, the Game Boy Camera pictures immediately while walking around. And two other people had Game Boy cameras and took a picture of me in a Game Boy camera. So that was like kind of a weird running theme. Like every day someone had a new Game Boy camera. I keep the picture of me from the Game Boy camera in my wallet. Also, the thermal paper that was used for Game Boy uh, camera, Game Boy printer. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. The thermal paper is not made anymore and it degrades very quickly because heat will over time, you know, fuck with it. So apparently there's a distributor in Russia who sells it in like bulk. I, I might be getting some of this wrong, but this is what I remember. And and for a good price too. They're not like overcharging and not many people have this this um paper. I would assume you could make new versions of it if you tried, but who's going to do that? And I think the reason it's in Russia and there's so much of it is because it's cold. <laughs> So you can store it, and since it's thermal, it doesn't get ruined by the heat. That seems to be what um, my friends and I have arrived at. You know, just talking about it. So. I'm assuming they work like paper receipts. I think so, but there's um. I think you could probably manufacture new versions of it, but it has to be the exact, like, right size. And also, um, thickness, so it can go through the uh, Game Boy printer. I don't know why I said that like that, like, thickness. Alright, I'm, I'm referring to the map, chat. Give me a second here, I gotta find the next shrine. Okay, so we're gonna take a look over here now, and I'm gonna be very thorough because we're we're really not very far off from from finishing the shrines, I think. So we're here right now at the um, whatever the name, uh, however you pronounce that, doesn't matter. We go to that one. Got these. Got the Tarrytown stuff over here. So we got um that 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 and here's the one with the horse, okay. There's three here. Okay, got those. Got that one. Got that one. There should be... So, hang on, there's one here. And then there's the Sepapa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's a shrine here. In fact, there are two shrines here on this island. Well, not really an island, but you know, that landmass, so... How many hours have you put into this game so far? Uh, probably over a hundred at this point. Have you ever successfully caught a returning boomerang in real life? No, because they were always cheap shit like paper boomerangs. Or like, you know, fake boomerangs that aren't really even supposed to, like, fly. They're like, um, babby, like babby toy boomerangs. So no, I have not. Not that I would necessarily even have the skill to do so, but it would be... It'll be fun to try one time. I, I would love to rip my fingers off with a boomerang by accident. That would be cool. Just... You know... Never do the things I love again. Like play guitar or video games. That would be fun. <laughs> 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 
What movie? Wasn't there a movie where someone throws a boomerang with a, like, a, a knife? It's like a sharp boomerang, like a razor boomerang, and it comes back and it lops off his fingers like hot dogs. Mad Max? Oh, there you go. <laughs> yep. Sorry, I know I'm checking this like a million times, but I just want to triple check. This is the landmass, okay. Kung Pao? Maybe Kung Pao. Losing your career and hobby to spin would be uh, ironic. I thought you said iconic. Like, damn, maybe I should do that and make a vlog out of it. Because, like, I'm trying to think, what's the stupid... Like, what's the stupid things that one could do... ...to... ...get maximum viral hits? But also stay entertaining. And I think chopping your fingers off with a, a razor boomerang could be that thing. That might just be my ticket to success, to real success, chat. I could be... I could be eating burgers with Mr. Beast right now. Jump the gaps. I think I've also discovered a secret of YouTube, which is just, um, on your thumbnails, keep your mouth open. Again, Mr. Beast does it. That's not a secret. Nah. Not really, it's not a secret, but it's like... You know, I've, I've seen the, the, uh... The internet change a bit over the years and um, back in my day the secret to success was I don't know make a cartoon and now you just need to have your mouth wide open Keeping your mouth open suggests submissiveness, says a chat member. Is that what that is? <laughs> so like when people- <laughs> wait, when people click a Mr. Beast video, they're just like, Ah oh, yes, I feel safe and comfortable with this lad, for he is submissive. Okay, yeah, thank you for the very correct info, chat member. But I mean, a lot of these uh, giant YouTubers are also part of, like, media agencies. There's a, a post going around that is- it's not something I've, um, seen for the first time, but it talks about how a lot of these, like, uh, big influencers eventually joined, like, this massive conglomerate of, like, um, you know, owned by, like, Amazon or something, of, uh, whatchamacallit, 
like agents and managers that get them even more famous. They just all they do is they they take like 20% of their income and they they just say this. All right. Here's how you get more famous. Open your mouth. No, not like that. I mean in the thumbnail chat. This isn't Hollywood. Yet. Getting there. There you go. I don't begrudge anyone's success. I mean, especially if they're, you know, trying to, like, do good things, like, with their, you know, maybe raise some money for charity. Or, like, not teach people to be total dickwads. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm very far from perfect. I'm, I'm a very flawed human being, but I do... I, I, uh, I wouldn't want to tell people to hate other people. That's kind of my general, like, flat rule of, of streaming. It's kind of simple. Um, I don't know why it's flat. What about Mike Love? Yeah, Mike, Mike Love. It's interesting, it's ironic that his name is Mike Love. Isn't it? When in reality... Well, you know the rest. No, but I, I think, um... You know, however you, you find a way to succeed, as long as, um... As long as you try to be an okay person, and even then... It's not really any of my goddamn business. But, you can still become, like, successful on a micro level. Without, like, managers and, like, big media talent companies, I think. You can still, like, find a way to, you know, create things and then share those things without that kind of thing. And, uh, hopefully that doesn't go away. The internet's changed so much in the past 20 years, and it's just changing more and more. I mean... Everyone's going to this Threads thing, and I made an account there, and it's fucking terrible. And... Like, the app itself is really bad. Because you can't just view people's stuff that you want you want to view. You have to view, like, big corpo shit. It's like, your friend, um, Jacob... ...or your friend Tucker... ...you're gonna get their tweets about how they, they have a rash on their scapula. And then, right below that is Coca-Cola trying to sell you some, like, new... ...product made from mung beans. It's like, I don't want to see the mung bean Coca-Cola. I, I... You know, I'm following people that I like, and that I want to, you know, just see their stuff, and that's it. So yeah, I don't- I don't know how I feel about that. It's- it's just... With Twitter the way it is, I understand why people are looking for something, because it seems like every decision has been worse, and I- I get it, but you're going from one dumbass to another. It's like, is it really, like, the, Facebook is gonna save us? Meta? Really? So I made the account there just to have the name, and just in case that becomes the big one, that way I can advertise my streams and stuff. And it's cool, you know, it's cool to have some competition maybe for Twitter, I don't know, but... Yeah, things are changing pretty rapidly, and... Like I said the other day, maybe it's for the best. Maybe we don't need just one place. Because when you have just one place, things get out of hand pretty quickly.
having one or two places is a lot easier because especially for someone like me where it's like hey I'm streaming in five minutes why don't you join here's the tweet that's helpful But, you know, back in the day, people would be on, um, a lot more, like, specialized, like, things, like, whatever website or web zone you like. With, like, six skulls and fire gifts. Bring back the Miiverse, maybe. Maybe the Miiverse is the real answer. So yeah, it's changing so much, and I don't know... I don't know where it's going. I feel like it's it's too difficult to predict right now. Everything's in a state of flux, and... in a state of... maximum monetization of its users. Which has always kind of been the case, and like, you know, data selling and all that fun stuff. But now it just feels much more blatant. We here at Cox Social really want to connect our users for a nominal fee. I just, on a personal note, I, I am kind of a... I realize this more as I get older. I'm like kind of um, a walking pile of contradictions. I think a lot of humans can be. It's hard to stay 100% consistent and know yourself. I mean, hey, if you eat a bad piece of cheese, you might have a different opinion than you did 20 minutes ago. But... I will say, right now, the thing I, I want is just to be able to continue to do what I do. Just to be able to make some, some videos, play some games. You know, if the social media companies all implode and there ends up not being a suitable replacement... You know, as long as I can keep doing this... That's fine. Sentencing by judges is statistically harder, or harsher, if the judge hasn't eaten lunch yet. It's interesting. I, I don't know if that's true, I mean, it's just a chat member saying it in chat, but, I mean, maybe there's a study that was done. But, um, the thing is, even if it's not phrased weird or whatever i i can un i can understand that because i get irritable when i don't eat lunch so yeah that that kind of makes that checks out on some level Someone said, wow, humans sure are fallible, but AI computers, they will never be wrong. What are you doing, Dave? It's the t a tale as old as time. The AI that becomes sentient and decides the best course of action for the planet is to eradicate the humans. Um, being fallible and flawed, I think, is what makes humans interesting and people interesting. And... That is the type of stuff I like to see in someone's art. Is like... People dealing with being a person... ...and just trying to figure shit out. 
So that's why I think AI is just always going to like fall flat. It might make like a, a song that reaches, you know, a top 40 or something. It might might be a catchy song. It might even be a good song. But I, I don't think people are going to get sick. I, this ties into the other conversation I've had about AI. But I don't, I don't think people are going to get sick of, like, human-made art. But, um... Yeah. People are fallible. People make mistakes. People make harsh judgments. And, um, we are just bags of meat. That want to eat our lunch. Fuck. To get back on topic, when was the last time you shit your pants? Hmm. Millie Vanilli concert? 1991. Opener, Vanilla Ice. Why is it called Tears of the Kingdom? He hasn't cried once. Yes, the main character's name is Kingdom. Do any chat members know where the shrine is? It's behind rocks. You? this way. It's this way. Oh, no. No. Get out of here, Sidon. We oh, okay, here we go. Got it. Would you like my bubbles, Link? No. I need an explosion. But water can cut through rocks. Just like jet fuel can't melt steel beams, Link. I mean, yeah, the Grand Canyon was split wide open by ro by water. You know, just took a while. And like, um... There's like water drills. It just shoots like high pressure at like a stone or something and it just, it carves. Really powerful.
Brother. No way I'm going to be able to stealth this in any way, shape, or form. We're just going to forget about that. doing game very clever Vinny, Billie Eilish is on the Barbie soundtrack. Chat member, I couldn't be less interested in a piece of information. Thank you, though. Someone else said they just noticed the tags on the channel for the first time. Let's be real. Are any of them that much of a stretch? Yeah, solid hog. Like solid snake squeezing a hog, okay? Questionable Italian man. English? I'm an English major. Was. Now I have an English degree. I, I'm like the Indiana Jones of English. I could go on word adventures.
I just got an offer. Uh... Business Consulting at Redvox, F. For Forito. We are a company dedicated to office products. They want to send me removable tempered glass screen protector for MacBook. They want to send me, Redvox, a screen protector for a MacBook. That's up there with some of the weirder ones I've, I've received. I don't have a MacBook. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they like. And they're calling me Redvox. Uh, I love it. What would happen if you told a chatbot to accept every mail offer you received? Um... There would be expectations. I think people would start expecting me to, uh, cover their product because then the chatbot's like, Yes! But also, chat, I get a lot of, like, keys. I've told you about this. Sometimes I accept them. Like, once in a while, a game, like, Against the Storm comes along. And I'm just, like, hooked. But I had never heard of that game before they sent me a key for it. But, um, I also... Yeah, I get lots of keys for games that are either... I'm hesitant to say soulless. Because that doesn't really fully work, that falls flat sometimes, but they're like mobile gotcha type games. Um, made by committee. Not really anything like, by, like a passion project by like an indie dev. Which I get those too, and sometimes those are good. Sometimes I check them out. But a lot of them are just like, we just added cat girls to our gotcha game. Mr. Sauce, we, we love your videos when you do, um, your, uh, Spin videos, and we would like to, uh, send you this game so that next time you do your Windows corruption, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, what? The, uh, Windows corruptions? Yes, Windows corruptions. That you would enjoy thoroughly this product. Dear Mr. Full Sauce. No, no, no. You know what's better? Dear Mr. Extra Sauce. <laughs> Elma Knowles. Sounds like an old lady somewhere in Liverpool. Elma Knowles Rigby. Picked up a rice in the church where her wedding has been. <laughs> Still don't know how people watch me stream. How do you even watch this shit? Mr. Vine Sauce highlights. Mr. Vine, Mr. Vine Sauce fan channel highlights. We would love to get in touch with you about our Manscaped Razor. You two can shave your cock in three easy steps. First, pick it up by its legs. Alright. Grab its feathers. And pull. That's all you have to do, Mr. Vine Sauce Fan Channel Remix.
The shrine's a bit weird. You're looking for something different than a cave. You can just tell me what it is. I I'm good with... Like, just tell me. <laughs> I'm good with that. It's a well. Dear Germa fan highlights, we would like to sell our product through your your videos. And it's like... I'm gonna find out that it's just a video of me and Germa playing a video game together. And they thought I was Germa fan highlights, because I'm in the video. Mr. Audio Jungle Sponsorship. We noticed that your music has been claimed. We, we too would like to do a sponsorship for you. That's why we would like to, for you to promote our product. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Fucking Bokoblin riding a bear? Wow. That is a brave Bokoblin. I'm looking for a well. I sh uh, sure don't see a well around here. You can sense the well. I don't have a picture of one. It's pretty far from the shrine. I wonder if they'll notice the freaks before they notice me. Fuck! Motherfucker, but we've come this far. Well below. Oh, there it is. Damn it, I was going to be cool. Spooky well plus blood moon. Spawn, aren't they? God damn it! I just killed you, motherfuckers. I mean, I do get the satisfaction of killing them twice. That's nice.
efficient. Boat's got everything. Got our treasure chests. Got a white. That's it. gonna go to um, Hestu and increase my bow and shield slots I think because we're at the point where weapon slots are gonna be almost prohibitively expensive that's a good shield all right shield but what do I replace how about the Moblin Gut, or the Boss Boko Shield. Maybe this one? That's the Daybreaker? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh. Did I really put that on there? I have a bunch of shields I don't even use because I don't, I don't like the way they look. Vinny, you sound different today. I'm on a new sound card. Um, how different would you say I sound, chat members, to how I sounded yesterday? More filtered? You sound younger. You sound the same to me. Well, there's no filtering. It might be the preamp in the sound card if that even ha- Well, not- I guess- does it have a preamp? I don't even know. You bought a sound card? I bought a cheap one so I can get rid of audio delay. So now when Link jumps, he lands and the sound lands with him. Like, almost- I think it's like a 0 0.2 second delay at this point, as opposed to 0 0.8, which I notice. Mids are a bit high. Your mid. Peaking more easily. How uh, does it peak a lot? How's it peaking now? Is it peaking? It actually peaked? Really? But yeah, this is exactly how I sounded yesterday. More or less. Uh, no settings seem to be different. There's two wells nearby if you're interested. I'm- I'm just shrine hunting. I'm not really, uh, looking to go th through some wells at the moment. So we got that one. Got the three there. We got that one. We got those three. We've got... Those. Okay. Got that. I know there's two shrines that you get in the uh, storm cloud area. But I have an odd number at the moment, so I think I'm almost positive I'm missing one. Am I missing just one shrine?
Like, three total, but one before those two. Zoom out and we can tell you. Alright, um, I'm zoomed out now. If you know where the shrine is, please let me know. It's in your bad microphone. <laughs> Could be in the sky, too. Oh, we did the counting in the sky. Sky's fine. I'm just doing a quick comparison again to the map. see it down there. Thank you, Mario in a top hat. <laughs> I appreciate the raid. <laughs> nice name. That person must have loved Mario Odyssey. Elden Canyon Skyview. So we got one up there, we got one over there. Are you missing floating islands? No. I got the Tarrytown one. The Farron region. Well, yeah, we know there's one in the sky up here. There's two over here, in fact, but there seems to be... I'm missing three shrines total, so there's these two and one more. So the two in the sky I'm aware of. Nakluta sky. There's one more in the sky. What? What is it? That big island with the circles. Isn't that a, um, a race course? Or a, a skydiving thing? No? Oh. We did a count last time I was streaming, and chat and I had decided that I got all of them. Did we make a mistake on the internet? So, alright, let's see. So it's up there. Oh, that's really high up. Um... Use that waterfall? Oops. I always forget about the fucking waterfall. Every time. That is a lot further away than I thought it was. It's 
Wait, can you waterfall mid-air? I've done that before and just forgot. Man. Ah, shit. Cold. Cold dragon, please. Did, did that waterfall just disappear? Wait, wait a minute. Stopped raining? Goes down further when it rains. Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Fuck. Do it, asshole. Nice up here. It's peaceful. This guy's shooting rockets. It's a peaceful neighborhood. Get your fireworks away. Chuck and Mason uh, have a thing that they've been saying, file that one away in the ziggurat of cringe. I don't know where it came from, but I think about it. It's one of those things where I, I, like I let out a small chuckle when I heard it, and now I can't stop thinking about it. Have you been hanging around them? Um, not- I mean, me and Chuck see each other at this point, maybe every three, four months. Just to work together or whatever, but, um, they were at too many games. So I got to see them there. I'm a chuckster. Vinny, you need to go to the bottom. Okay, hang on one second, though, I'll be right back.
Vomit now. Boy, do I- I just- I just love to break Link's knees. It's nice that that Korok emote got more use after six years of being very, very special use case. Chad, is this bird shit? Like, are birds shitting on this thing sideways? It's lichen. Yeah, but I've seen birds shit sideways. Like, if they're flying over something, and they're at a velocity, and they expel, it can, like, hit a wall. Lichen? Lichen? I don't know how to say that. Vinny, this isn't New York, it's Hyrule. No, same thing. There's a chest here you don't want to miss. That's what I said about my wife, huh? No respect. Um... I'm sorry, did you say you're a stand-up comedian? Yeah, I am, no respect. Ah. Uh. That's my favorite type of comedian. Guy who learned all the wrong lessons from Rodney Dangerfield. Or my other favorite stand-up comedian is Guy who le learned all the wrong lessons from Sam Kennison and just screams. I mean, I think screaming can be funny. If, you know, used with a good joke and, like, it's the right... It's the right, like, thing to do for the joke, I guess, but... Like, Bill Hicks maybe did it, but he was also... Like, in the same time period as Sam Kinison. For those that don't know, he was just a very loud comedian. It's very, very loud. But, I mean, Bill Hicks was a lot more cerebral. But he would scream his point as well. I think that was just the style at the time. Like, um... Early 90s, late 80s. That, that seems to have been the, uh, the predominant... Like get popular formula. It's like, you know, opening your mouth real wide in your YouTube thumbnails today. Shit. Link is doing a Mission Impossible. Well, don't worry, I've done this before. What lessons can we take from Bobcat Go away? Well, probably a funny voice. Where's the anvil? No need. 
I've done it before. What lessons can we take from Carrot Top? Yeah, if your audience makes fun of you because you're a loathsome prop comedian, you just get jacked and beat the shit out of them. I don't think he beats the shit out of them, but his physical um, strength... Like, he got real fucking strong. And I think there's the implication that he could beat the shit out of people. Not that he would, because he's Carrot Top. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, file that one away in the ziggurat. We can do that better. Definitely can do that better. needed that. Shit, I almost stealthed that. I need that. Just throwing rocks at me. Oh, <laughs> 
I got this. Wow, I hit the rock back. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Which, a hundred hours in, and I'm still saying I didn't even know you could do that. It's pretty impressive. Oh boy, that was a mistake. God, that was amazing. That might have been the coolest thing I've ever done in this game. do that with timer bombs to get lots of height. I yeah, I've done that before with um bombs. Bombs. That was another clip that um people shared a bit. Me using like a bomb shield jump. Bombs. Is Bintor doing the stream tonight? Yes. So chat, I um I may have to take a minute search for the chest now. Oh right, right, right. Oh okay. I'll get the treasure chest and then I have to go pee. Just to put it bluntly. Then I want to do some armor upgrading. And then we can go to the place. Country roads. Like, I think the game is going to lose frame rates with the amount of stuff that's going to come out of this. Huh. 
A little bit. Yeah. Actually, yep, it, it does. Didn't really need that much of that stuff, but sure. chest is in that room? Oh. I thought it was, like, outside this area. Okay, we'll, we'll look around. See how easily missable this is. Oh, okay, yeah, the, the rest of the energy up stuff. That seems pretty uh pretty good. there are some more weapons lying around here. I got three of them. Yeah, there's still some stuff around here. There's another one at the top. Let's go there first. Found me. I guess technically I don't really need the sensor to be on shrines anymore until we get to that spot. I thought there was another treasure chest up here, chat. Is there? Or are you just trying to get my kidneys to explode?
That was it? Just the one? Blasted myself through that ring. Out of here, Tulin. You're ruining the shot. Tulin, you're ruining the shot. I'll be right back. I'm back. <clears throat> you know, I toyed with the idea of um, just leaving that up like that for like several hours and just not addressing anything, just like disappearing, let people figure them themselves out in the meantime. This guy, he make, he make peace. Jo Mike Love and John Stamos was there. Put the sound of water trickling in the background, leave for four hours. It's borderline experimental performance art. Excuse me. <laughs> no! Skip! Till Brooklyn! Right? That's funny. listening to um, some Led Zeppelin album reviews and, and the song All My Love. At one point, Robert Plant says Speen. He does. I was about to ask what that noise was, but I, I know what it is. Also, that last album, there's it's a lot of shit, but I think it's it's got some great stuff on it. In the evening, Cara Salambra. I'm gonna crawl. You mean Coda? No, not Coda. I'm not talking about Coda. That's not their last album. I mean, it is, but it's also, like, leftovers. And even that's got some good stuff on it. Oops. I got presence and in through the outdoor confused. I always get those confused, but... 
Presence is the one with Achilles' last stand on it. And, um, In Through the Outdoor is the one with, like, In the Evening. It's the way I remember them now. Fool in the Rain is great. Fool in the Rain is, like, really underrated. So that's, the maximum number will be four away from finishing the, the line. Is that, is that correct? No? Two? Well, it's just two more shrines. Oh, but there's more heart pieces? Hearts? You're missing six shrines. What? It ends with two open. Okay. There it is. My masterpiece of a shield. I'm never gonna use this. There you go. Let's make some weapons. I'll do everything I can to avoid using one of those ticklers. So I want to put the Gloom Spear on something else. I guess I can... Uh... <laughs> you don't have to. <clears throat> Too late. I should almost go to the depths to get some new weapon stuff. I also didn't do all the Poe- oh God, all the Poe dudes. Oh, there's only one Poe dude left? Oh, Dameron. Somehow, Ganondorf has returned. <laughs> there are seven Poe statues, so, so I probably am very close to getting all of them. Treasure chest sensor is going nuts. Alright. I can upgrade the champion leathers. Mm. 
Mm. I need shard of light dragon's fang times two. For more of that, so that's fucking not happening. Listen, if your parents ask what you're watching, just say it's porn. It's easier that way. Empty amber. So, oh my god, the fucking values just get crazy. Rasha's scale. My, my god. Yeah, the upgrading in this game is, is fucked. It's totally fucked. If I want to upgrade the, uh, the real good shit, the soldier's armor, I'm gonna need, like, Lionel stuff. And high knock stuff. I mean, not really a whole lot of else, uh, other stuff rather that I would like to upgrade. Maybe the fierce deity. <sighs> Will you farm the light dragon stuff off stream? No. The armor's pretty overkill anyway. Y yeah, I mean, even where I'm at now with this set, I'm good. Like, I'm not hurting for a squirting or anything, you know? Zonai armor is worth upgrading. But yeah, there's there's just gonna be a number of things that I don't end up doing. Boy, that's gonna get annoying real quick. Wait, what? Did I get that one? Wait, what? I didn't? Near it, but no interaction. See. I told Mike I was still playing this. He goes, really chewing the steak, huh? I, I don't think he understands how much Zelda means to me. Gotta do it. What is that? <laughs> Left leg depot? What? It's a weird name.
So what you're saying, chat, is that there's a, a more game left than I thought there was. I'll help, Link. It's me, Sidon. Well, the ghost of Sidon, at least. Would you like some water bubble? Sidon is such a useless slut. <laughs> what? What is wrong with you, chat member? Why would you speak the truth like that? Go to talk to the freak. Like up, up. Oh, geez. All right, hang on. Yeah, I have a lot of pose. What of it? Pose before bros. I gotta upgrade my battery, I, I know. Alright, so up. We have to go up. Uh, I don't know how up, but we'll figure that out in just a second here. Let me spring my way up this way. Oh, there we go. Stay a moment. Hood of the depths. So was that, is that it? Is that the last? Oh, there's all the weapons if you need them again. Um, not the last statue, there's- oh. I will say that that hood looks kind of, uh, interesting. Very Zant-like. The depth's armor looks sick as hell if you dye it white. Yeah, I don't know about that, chat member. I don't know about that, <laughs> buddy. Buddy old pal chat member. Hmm. It's just highlights. Well, since I'm down here, I kind of want to maybe grab a weapon or two.
they're like everywhere when you're not looking for them. Cross reference him with goddess statues on the surface. There's a pristine royal sword in the underground Korok forest. Those are random. Well, let's see if there's anything down here that could be turned into a decent weapon. I could use a couple. Like two. Just two would be nice. Um, yeah, so I guess... I don't know where the goddess statues are. Like, I couldn't even, like, tell you. So, I, I think I'm just gonna have to pay the Poe man. Time to get all the light roots now. No. No, I'm not doing that, chat. I don't- oh god. Oh god, no. Seems like an acceptable way to find some weaponry. It's a shame the fucking thing turns on its own, but... It's the price you pay for cheese, I guess. Okay, let's get one more. What was that? Did I get this one already? Oh no, okay, good, good, good. Here's a new one. Sure, I'll take it. Okay, so three decent weapons here. We got one. We got... 
Scythe. And now we will also have a Mulduga Jaw. Perfect. All right. Um... Well, now what? Uh, just some cleanup, I guess. Just gonna get, um, some battery upgrades. And then, uh, I'm gonna find that last Poe Lord. And then do some story stuff. Vinny's still missing two shrines, yep. Do you have band practice today? Uh, yesterday I did. It's just been random lately because of holidays and birthdays and stuff, so. Uh. No, I mean, we didn't really practice, we just recorded. But, got some new, new stuff on the new horizons. That is sounding pretty good. There's always new stuff because it's just, uh, it's, it's necessary for me to keep busy. I like to do that. It's good for me. And I also like to, uh, keep Joe paid so we can keep doing what he loves. And business is going well, but, you know, happy to be a part of that. And also just to... Like, playing music, writing it, recording is good for my mental health, I think. So, it's just... If I'm not, like, actively trying to do it, and, like, have a, a you know... A consistent schedule of doing it, then I'll get kind of lazy. But, there was a time when... Oh, it's over there. There was a time... When... I didn't really have a chance to do very much music. And it was, um... I was working a lot, and I was streaming as well. And one thing kind of had to fall to the wayside. Even though it was more like two things, which was free time and music. There's a refinery on the surface. You, you didn't know that? What's the kind of vibe on the new Red Vox songs? It's hard to say because there's a number of different things going on there. And there's still the stuff that we didn't release from the Visions and Afterthought sessions that are good. That I, I like, but they're also... ...pretty different from what was on that album. So... At least the second half, it was pretty different. So, yeah, I'm not 100% sure yet. We just have to kind of keep... ...keep doing it and seeing where it goes. Like... Any news on the new vinyl? Not really. It's happening. I don't have any information. Also, the another uh, oof, the afterthought CD was supposed to happen sooner, but my uh, my dude fucked up. And so they've been delayed a bit.
this statue you definitely need the hover bike for. Well, then I definitely uh, need some fans. So follow me on um, Threadless or whatever the fuck that place is called. Because that is, that's where, that's where you go to be advertised to. M new mung bean Coca-Cola formula is on the horizon, everybody, and trust me, you're gonna know about it, because... Zuck is like, I, I want to keep this place friendly. So, it's gonna be real friendly. And he's just, like, fisting him, like, dollars into himself because of how much he's making from the advertisers, because you can't, you can't, like, just get a For You tab, uh, or rather, just a following tab. So, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But yeah, yeah, no, um, I don't remember why I even brought that up. Oh, I need to get more fans in the game! Right, I need to go and, and, uh, and do the thing. Go to the gotcha machine. Oh, there's a light up there. Damn. Okay, you may be asking, well, why is Vinny shooting his Goron? And the answer is quite simple. I can't see shit. So if the Goron hits a wall, I know that I will hit a wall. Shooting off in the dark again. What, the Beatles did it? We were having a thrash in the evening, having a thrash in the dark, having a thrash in the morning. Um, something like that. I can see an old-timey piano number that McCartney would write about having a thrash. Ringo is like, ah, oh, it happened before we I joined the band. Oh, poor Ringo. He never got to have any fun. <laughs> Didn't get a single one of his crystals charged. You know, we were just really, like, going at it. Oh. Oh, shit. Son, oh, stop. No, 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 come back. Okay, never mind. Tunic of Memories. It, this is the last one, yeah? Oh, okay. That's a pass. Can I just, like... Wait, can I buy weapons I already have? Like... Sword?
I'm actually doing some story. Speak to Pura first. Did I not? She gave me the mission. The music changed. I thought the story thing was a joke. Yeah, well, we can do a little bit of that, at least. Blink your... When will you play against the storm again? There's been a lot of new patches. I saw. I'm excited to check it out again. Probably after I finish Link. this game. Link. What? Come to me. I am waiting. Waiting for you. Alright, whatever. We'll do that. We'll do that. I gotcha. Now I'm a real hero. With my sword brand sword that is weak as fuck. I'm gonna use it. I'm actually gonna use it. But I'm, I'm gonna combine it with something. Then he missing a temple. I mean, I know there's another dungeon, but I don't know... I don't think I'm missing it. This is just... it's one of those all-in-due-time moments. Fucking hell. Okay, we'll try that again. Oh shit, there's a lot of these things here. Ha! 
Oh, you're not- you're not getting away with not being shot. Wait, that's double negative. Yeah, I think that worked regardless, but... Not irregardless. That's not a real word. I know I'm an English major. They told me that. My the the dean of English told me that. Oh man, this place is is fucking covered in gloom. It does go away. I see the nut balloon. I see it. Midna's helmet. I do, yeah. The gloom does go away on its own, so that's nice. Um, let me clear out some of my food stuffs here. All right, time to ruin a very cool sword. It's only very cool to me because I just love, like, the most basic design in a sword possible. Great. Great. I also got a big Oron sword, too. Shady, please stand up. Oh my god. Hear the link to the past motif. Zelda. Huh? <laughs> 
that was a mistake. I was on the wrong level on the map. Oh, Okay, so I'm on this floor, right? I'm on that one. Okay, I, I see now. I see now. Just checking, just checking. I see. Let's see. This way. Follow me, lads. I know where I'm going. I didn't kill him good enough earlier. So it's directly below here. Some delicious Hinox toes. Let me just never say that again. It's Hinox toes. Those are delicious, not Hinox. That's not even a real word. So this is cool, just trying to find Zelda. Even though we know every time it's gonna be fake Zelda. Good tour of the castle. Someone just said Link isn't very smart, okay. 
I mean, he solved those shrines real, real good. Probably not even going to need any other shields at this point. Because I think it's all highly in shield from this point forward for me. How did... How did he blow that horn after death? That was the real Zelda. Just that one time, it's finally her. Stop hitting your head. Stop hitting your head. Stop hitting your head. I lend you my water, Link! Hey. secret chest in that room. Is it good? You gotta light the torches, someone said. Armor? Did I not get that? It's the lightsaber. Oh, man. Oh, okay. I, I, I think I know what kind of armor it is.
on the entrance to this. Should be like directly here. Yep. And that's really it. You get, like, a couple enemies that you can kill with, uh, sword. Ling, I am waiting. Waiting. Waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Whatever you say, Zelda. I forgot to buy more fans. That was the thing I wanted to do. <laughs> paid fans, paid chat room, paid chat members. All of them. go. Something about this seems kind of finale-esque, even though I know it's not. At last. I have been waiting for you to arrive. Now, Link, there is something here I want to show you. Perfect and glorious. Does it awaken memories? Memories of our time here? Well, really take in every detail. After all, this place will be the last thing you will ever see. Oh, he's dry! The fabled swordsman who endured my corruption, who has persisted in slaughtering my servants. Interesting. How is it that you survived my attack? It must have been that wretched arm. Not really. No matter. Sunrise. Did my puppet entertain you? She made it so easy to mislead you. 
killed like 30 of these people. See, it's not even new. that I'm using Phantom Ganon's own weapon against him. Someone said, this is why I warned you, you were overpowered. Yeah. I mean, that's what happens when you put... What? A hundred hours into a game? Yeah, I could see that fight being a pain in the ass if you get there with like 12 hours it instead of 100. More to you than the power Raru has gifted. But not much more. There they are. Link, we are here. Wait, then who the fuck were these things I was fighting alongside the whole time? Freak show assemble. Stones. <laughs> Just what is this thing? You do not Says the talking fish. Me. Perhaps there are limits to the knowledge the secret stones impart. Stand before Ganondorf. The foolish actions of your ancestors served only to delay my ascension. Allow me to show you, show you, the world that was and will be again when I have been restored. Maybe not like a lot of those in a row. Okay, this could be a problem. Eliminate this kingdom and her allies. No survivors. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna kill Ganondorf and I'm gonna steal his horse. You cannot hope to escape your fate. My power will sweep across this land. You need but await the inevitable end. <laughs> Ooh. 
Was that the Demon King we were warned about? It all really happened? This is Dyer. The Demon King. The man who nearly destroyed the world. Ganondorf. With his return, yep. everyone's in danger. That's him. Oh, this isn't good. If that really was him, oh, we're in real trouble. Hold on. He must not be at his full strength. Otherwise, why flee instead of finishing us off? We should return to Lookout Landing and decide what to do next. Link, you should come too. No, I'll, you know what? Baby bird person, why don't you take care of this? I'm gonna be a little busy for the next hundred hours. I gotta work on my house. Um, yeah, there's a couple couple other things that needed some doing. The light roots. Can't forget about the light roots. Gloom sword, gloom sword. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to take damage from it, but it'll be fun. <laughs> Basically, any demon king bow I need. Had that Gerudo bow for like 50 hours. I haven't ever really used it, so we'll just get rid of that. We'll get rid of the royal bow. Demon King bow is the good shit. Confirmed. Attach a gloom weapon to a regular weapon. I know. I just did. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh, man. That looks stupid. if there's anything at the very top of the castle. Has anyone told Vinny that a sequel to the Marble game has been announced? Marble it up? I know they're doing a deluxe edition. Oh, I got this Korok already. Wait, I've been here? Oh yeah, I guess I have. Did I get the bow as well?
Oh no, I didn't. Dusk bow. Duck's bow. Put a travel medallion here so you can get a new bow every blood moon. It forcefully fires long range arrows. I guess that's neat. Well, now we've got. Uh, I, you know, it's funny because I see the cutscene was like. Shit's going down, and now it's a beautiful day like you too. It's a beautiful day! That was the past? Oh. Or it's him showing... Okay, some chat members are saying it's the future, and some are saying it's the past. Gonna take you. Man, that's what I've been doing wrong. I needed a theme song. I need I need the fans. Where are they? get those guys over at Red Vox to do your theme song. I was thinking about that, but I, I probably would get claimed. Speaking of, it looks like I was able to handle the issue with Blood Bagel. And I do believe the rest of our music is also uh, playable on Twitch and YouTube without... Oh my god. Oh! Oh. The yeah, the music all, all of Redbox at this point should be playable on Twitch and YouTube without any muting or any issues. If you attempt to play our music for the paid chat members that like it and you get a claim, please tweet the Redbox Twitch uh, Twitter and let me know so I can send more angry emails. That would be the best move, I think. How long will this last? The shit is so automated by it by now it'll probably loop back into being claimed. Yeah, that that appears to be what will happen. Only thing I can do is just kind of wait. Just wait and see. They love it. Welcome back. Looks like it was pretty tough. So how did it go? I see. To summarize, 
There's no mistaking that what you all saw at the castle was the Demon King from the Legend of the Imprisoning yes. War. And the princess you've been seeing was actually an imposter. And the reason she appeared at Hyrule Castle was so the Demon King could lure Link into a trap. I knew something seemed weird. I mean, about Princess Zelda not doing anything to help with these troubles everywhere in Hyrule. It's all connected. The upheaval, the problems our homelands have been facing, the fake princess. It's all happening because the Demon King came back. Mm. So then that means the Princess Zelda isn't actually here? Instead, she's in the distant... <laughs> and not in the present, right? Hmm. Yes, we should all consider that to be the case, bizarre as it sounds. It also seems that Princess Zelda was trying to somehow defeat the Demon King in the past. Mm. Our ancestors made a vow to Zelda. They swore that when the Demon King was revived, their descendants would awaken as sages and fight alongside Link. Aww. But with Princess Zelda in the past, we can't ask her what the plan is supposed to be. She can't be here to fight with us either. We also don't know anything about the Demon King other than the fact that he's bad news and super strong! What do we do? <gasps> hmm, based on what you each have told me, it appears that the Princess was making preparations in anticipation of the Demon King's revival in this era. There must be some hint that we still haven't figured out in our time. Oh. Right you are. We can't afford to take, uh, to stand still at a time such as this. It's imperative that we act. Hmm. Hmm, but without any leads. Hmm. Oh, wait. You said that the six sages were the king were with King Rauru when he fought against the Demon King during the Imprisoning War, right? Wind, fire, water, lightning, Captain Planet, hmm. and time. That was the princess. Wow. Oh, I see. Huh? What about heart? Wait, what is it? What do you see? Huh. Well, that's it. There was one more sage back then. The Sage of Goat. Huh. One more sage that might be here now. I'm sure this will lead where we were hoping for. It will be well worth our while to search. Each of you awakened as sages at ruins from the Age of Legends, right? Maybe remaining sages in a similar location. Uh. Let's split up. Yeah. Go back to your homelands uh, for any information about the ruins that might be related to the remaining sage. Linky, search around and see if you can find any undiscovered leads. <laughs> yep. Yep. Perfect blink, by the way. Um, <laughs> very good. I mean, I'm assuming... I'm assuming it's here. No. Oh, now I understand. Mm -hmm. hmm. The Zone I survey team is investigating ruins. That leaves one more. The ruins from Age of Legends. Remember, chat? Remember when I went to Kakariko Village and I didn't know? I didn't... I didn't know? Where is Kakariko Village? I don't know. Wow, I really don't know where Kakariko Village is. Oh.
<clears throat> I probably shouldn't be playing this that much longer. They'll play a little bit longer. You're thinking about floating the floating ring ruin. I am as well. It's been on our minds for some time. Have you figured out what happened? The Zelda who appeared after the upheaval was a creation of the Demon King. The real Princess Zelda still hasn't been found, but how can this be true? I trust you completely, Master Link. It must be as you say. It is hard to explain, but the princess we saw was somehow unfamiliar. It was as though her very aura was different. She was an imposter the whole time. That would mean... I don't have the soundboard near me. Um, the real reason she ordered us to close off the ruin was because the Demon King saw it as a threat. We should investigate immediately. Your Laurelin phrasing is really coming through, Mr. Taro. You must be really pleased. Aww. Still need to determine how to conduct the survey. Oh. There doesn't seem to be an entrance. Stone slab inside engraved with Zonai script. I got this. Here we go. Sideways, though. There's no portrait mode. Or landscape mode, or whatever mode. Did he just... No, I, I didn't. No, I didn't do that. That's... Could it really be? Paya, Gallop, look at this! Could this be the interior of the floating ring ruin? Wow, the stone slab is so clearly visible. There appear to be Zonai inscriptions on this one as well, just like in the other ring ruins. Taro, if you would. Uh, right, let me see what I can decipher. Hmm, promise Zelda solemnly signed Mineru Sage of Hide the Key, Southeast, and Trust Future, Wish Defeat, Demon King. That's all I can make out. Southeast, but Mineru seems to be someone's name. Mineru? Uh, Mentioned Zelda and a Demon King. The inscriptions are telling us all of the sorts of essential information. That part before the southeast section, it says Dragonland. Dragonland Southeast. Proven useful. It seems my continued Zonai language studies have paid off. Oh no, I'm being upstaged! <clears throat> uh, where were we? Something about a Dragonland to the southeast? Familiar are you with the Southeast Hyrule? It's a site in Faron that has long been known as Zonai Ruins. Oh yeah. Yeah, we were there. <laughs> Thanks, chump. Mm. Oh. 
This inscription is pointing us towards Faron oh. Zonai ruins. No, not that. The next bit. I believe it started with Fan and ended up with Tastic. What was it again? Hmm? Oh, fantastic work, you mean? <laughs> yes, fantastic work. That is what you said. Oh, oh he's going to love that for years. Something related to all three of them must be waiting at the Zonai Ruins in Southeast uh. Hyrule. Um, chat, how how much longer is there of game if I just do all the story stuff, you think? Like, a lot. Like, two streams, okay? That's good, that helps me. I doubt that she's safe and well, I must believe that. As chief of this village, I can't leave my people, so I must place the search in your capable hands. Well, if you want to know how Zelda's doing, just look up. Hot, 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 hot. Three to four hours, Vinny. So that means if it's three to four hours, I mean, I'm sure there's some variation within that, but. That would be, like, one substantial stream. Not that I want the game to be over, but it's, it is time, chat. It, it is time. There are fantasies to be finaled. There are Marios to be carded. There's Pikmin to pick. Our research will proceed from here. Taro has really already gone off to the Zonite Ruins. Drakozu Lake? I can play a little bit more, and then I want to get going because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be streaming tonight too. But yeah, I'm not doing Friday, Saturday. I'll just uh, those two days I will not be around, so I'm just gonna chill. So don't worry about me. But yeah, I'm gonna get my streams in for this game today, and uh, later I'm gonna probably do that Astro's Playroom, and also probably Vinamon. I'm thinking about it. But again, don't expect a whole lot of that playthrough. It's just going to be me probably playing what I played years ago. I'm sure I'll enjoy both. Any chance of Street Fighter again? Um, let's, let's see how I'm feeling about it next week, because this week has been a wash. That seems important. since the presence of the mother 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 got a statue which dwells in the vast canyon 
Oh, that's just a side quest. It's not very worth it. This side quest gets you the Skyward Sword Sword. Which is cool. <clears throat> I mean... It's a, it's a fine sword. It's, it's the proto-master sword. I get it. Pillar-shaped ruin in front of the tent. There should be artifacts of that kind. Shouldn't be. It's an anomaly. got a whopper of a discovery on my hook here. <laughs> it's a Zonai mural complete with intact texts. The, the style's unmistakable. It's nothing short of miraculous that it's still here and basically intact. Fair bit of knowledge. Um, some of it still eludes Aww. me. Maybe it's a poem or some kind of code. Huh. Wear the electric garb hidden at long neck dragons along the wide-mouthed forest serpent. Mm -hmm. Calls to mind the tall pillars found around these ruins. Huh. Wide-mouthed forest serpent. Make a banger YouTube channel. Um, the forest serpent bit does remind me of a song that compared the Dracozu River to Forest Dragon. Mm. Offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. Oh. Oh. I found one more Zonai relic at the back of these ruins. Oh. Uh. oh. Himbo link again. Um, good. Do this one last thing here. Um, wear electric garb along the wide mouth forest serpent. Offer Zonai charge the altar at the tail. go get yeah take that thank you 
Not you. No. You, yes. I'm assuming we're going to collect all of these, otherwise the thing won't work, so just going to keep looking. There it is. Can you get this, like, early? Oh, you can. <laughs> Man, I don't mean to laugh, Link, but, but dude. Dude. Alright, maybe we, we come back to wearing this in a little bit, because that's, that's taken off, like, our entire health bar here, so... Okay, so we gotta find that altar. Uh, I don't, I don't know if we're in the right spot exactly, but altar, altar. It said at the end of the tail. Uh, well, this is probably the end of the tale. I always kind of feel a little bad about killing them, because they wave first. I mean, not too bad, but a little bad. Wiz Robertsons. Well, this gives this whole area a whole lot more use than it had in Breath of the Wild. Did you see that? Lightning struck the dragon pillar, too. Someone in those ruins? Yeah, that was really cool. 
Oh, it's you again. We think a terrible lightning strike hit here, but I'm glad you to see you weren't hurt. Huh. If you know anything about this, fill us in on what happened. Can you get there? Uh. Someone said I paraglided right into the storm and found the shrine by sheer luck. Oh, so you can actually do that whole thing. You can just get there. I guess a lot of people did. It's the Hall of the Century, a significant discovery to be sure. I'd like to go investigate further, but we have no way of getting up there. Uh. Oh. No. Uh. Even if we can't get to the sky, there's so much to discover on the land. Uh. Hey. The cutscene was with the Four Sages and Pura all going, you already did that? It's super annoying without clearing the clouds, I believe it. Do you just get struck by lightning constantly? Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Don't care. Eat shit. Now's not the time, you nobo! Oh shit, it turned into like Guy Fieri uh, design. But lightning instead of flames. Sick. That was that the wing? Cool. Alright. Chad, I gotta stop here. I'm gonna be uh, streaming later. But yeah, we made some progress. I didn't expect to get all the shrines already. Or close to. We only got two left. And, uh... Oh god. I'll plan for either one really long stream or two shorter ones. But I don't know. I'm I'm not sure exactly how to make that work. So uh maybe yeah, next week I'm gonna probably do this and we'll finish it up. So uh take care. I'll see you later with um some more fun stuff, and we will resume Zeld when that happens. And, uh, if anyone knows how to, like, not jack my microphone up in the new sound card and jack it down, perhaps, let me know, because otherwise it's just way too, like, distorted. But it's the Asus Zonar. With an X, because it's cool. Alright. See ya. Bye, everyone. As always, by the way, thank you. <laughs>